our dear <laughs> friends out there. How are you guys doing on this beautiful day? It's a wonderful day. You know what? It's so it beautiful is. out there. And the most wonderful thing we is... We slept with our windows open last did night. Did you really? We did. <laughs> cool things down. It is. It's a nice time of year. Yes, it is. But you got great stuff to talk about today. We do. We you do have great fun. stuff. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch them. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, you know what? It's always good to have you by my side. All so, right. So, so today we're going to talk about the cutest small I fry. I love this. It is called small fry. The cute little fries. Is that so cute? This is so adorable. So we're going to talk about... And actually, there is one more. Let's show them what this one was cute, too. Well, Lisa, do you know where I'm going with this? I know where you're going with that. <laughs> Look at this. Is that so cute? There's no bottom in it. There's no bottom. I know. And you know what, Jessica, that was the cutest idea. And it's put on the back instead of the, the front. front. Look at that. So she made this for her dog. For her dog, yes. <laughs> yep. And he wore this. And he loved it. Maybe it's she a did. she. It's a she. It's a she. It's a yep. she. Yep. It's she a wore she. this and she loved it and she was so cute. Millie, and I think she, her yeah. Name. She was a little small fry. I loved it. All yes, right. I'm ready. Really cute. Okay. So we're going to kind of talk about a few different stabilizers at the beginning, what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a wash away. Um, oh my goodness. All of a sudden my mind. It's a wash away. Uh, use a, a sticky back wash away sticky back stabilizer now Lisa tell me why you're going to be doing the sewing method why are you using these embroidery Embro stabilizers because you know what they work just as well for the sewing it doesn't have to be embroidery it does not have to be embroidery nope it does not so um, we've got the the wash away sticky back we have a fusible pill and stick which is supposed to help it it's not supposed to it does it does, it it does, does help. help out with our applique pieces so um, I'm going to show you how to use that. Um, also, there is um, another one that's called Let's Silky. Let's show them what this is while you're talking. Okay. There's one that's called Silky Soft. Is it Silky Soft? Silky Soft Fusible Backing. This one here. I you, love that. I do too. <laughs> and you see it a lot when um, this one here is really, it is really soft. It is put on after you do machine embroidery. Okay. After you do machine embroidery. I'm just looking to just see. Just because if Jess it put covers it on hers. up. I don't know if she did or not. Well, it's for the dog. No, she didn't. But, that's but we don't okay. want the dog to be scratchy. No, we don't want the dog to be scratchy. But, but I have some cut. I'm going to show you how to use it on the one that I have already done I, today. I felt this and I thought, wow, what is that? That is, is, so is so soft. Because on your t shirt, it gets so scratchy inside. It does. You know what? And I don't think it matters if you do it for just babies. I think you need to no, do it for adults too. I definitely right? want it soft on the inside. Yes. Uh, yes, me too. And then there is another stuff we call flex foam. Love the flex foam or flexi foam. Uh huh. Um, it's nice. And actually, this is going to make our French fries dimensional. Okay. So it is awesome. It makes our French our French fries a little more dimensional. There's no fry sauce on these. Oh, Barb, you and your fry sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So what we're going to do very first is we're going to do some prep work before we kind of start out doing everything. So the very first thing what we're going to do here is we're going to take our we're going to take our cute little onesie here and we're going to fold it backside. We're going to uh, fold it in half. Do you want to do it down this way? Okay. Okay. Very good. So we're going to fold it down in half i kind of like to um match up my the oh my gosh what do we call this barb <laughs> the bot the, 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 the trim the ribbing. the ribbing there we go the ribbing at the top and then the shoulder seams right here okay oh, it's just so cute and then we're going to iron that so could you iron that for us barb it's pretty much iron but if you would, wouldn't mind doing that for me and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece I, and it's going to be a four and a half by four and a half inch piece of wash away fusible backing. And this is going to, this, when we do this with quilt, with sewing or um, with our embroidery, we do not want our t-shirt, our, you know, our knits to stretch at all. So we're going to lay this down on the back side. 
and it calls for a four and a half by four and a half inch piece. Okay, and so we're going to put on the back side of our front, okay? Because we do not want our t-shirt to stretch at all. I love that idea. I, th I thought it was quite clever. Okay, and I found that if I did this very first, so... Um, before you even start to transfer your design. Before I even transfer my design. Now, the instructions have you do the design first on here, but I found out, I found with my light box, I was able to, because the fabric kind of, it will pull, it will kind of pull right? Yeah. So I figured if I did my fusible backing first, and then at the, on the very back, I think it's the back sheet of your instructions, you're gonna have, it's gonna, it should be a full sheet. I cut mine down so I could. Um, I don't know if that helps, turning that light off. Yeah, I'm not sure if it, yeah, I don't know. And so I found that it just worked better if I cut it down because it fit into my t-shirt a yeah, little bit better. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this onto the light box. I find the light box much easier. I love my right? light box, yes. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the, the neck ribbing and I'm going to place it right along this line right here. Oh. Okay. And then I'm going to line the center crease that you mm -hmm. iron for right. us along this line right here. And it's nice because they extended that one all the way down here so I can make sure that it's lined up the Perfectly. whole way of the t-shirt. Okay. And you, do you tape this down at all? Do you know what? It probably would not hurt. Do we have some yep, paper do. tape? Yes, we do. I think it's going to help if we lay if we tape that down then it does not shifting on us. I always have to tape it down or it does shift. And I was using my window yesterday cuz I didn't have a <laughs> But I'm finding I do I need love a light box. My light box. I'm finding I do need my light box. Okay. So, again, I've got my my crease right here and I can see where you've creased it there for me, Barb. Very nice. And I'm going to line the crease up um all the way and then I'm going to do my mark and use and put my bottom of my rib my ribbing on the line and then I'm going to follow that line all the way down to the bottom here okay so it should be straight okay and do you need to tape that in place or how do you hold I'm that I'm just going to hold that with my hand okay that seemed to work and I'm using a water soluble pen. You could use a disappearing one as well. So, or I have one that is um, an air dry. Air dry, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first, we're going to just trace where our, all of our little pieces are gonna go. So I'm, I'm tracing around my so you're not putting details in because you don't I'm, need yeah, to Yeah, I'm not putting in. details, just the outline. This is a little bit of prep work before we get started. So, and then I'm going to go around the top here and see how it's not really pulling before. I was kind of struggling, so my lines on my first t-shirt kind of was scribbly yeah. so I thought well if I was the do the fusible first it really does hold it so it's not stretching at all I like that <clears throat> okay and then I'm gonna make my straight line across there we go now you're also gonna do do the inside line here you don't need to do really the detailed work just even just the outline stitch You could come up here and do this. It's going to be covered up, but it was there. So now, and now we're going to, I do like these light boxes. Oh, I do too. And so then, much easier than that window. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. And wonderful Nicole over there is putting that link 
on the chat box so they can oh, see yes. where to get that light, light box. box. Yes. I tell you, there is nothing like the light box. It is. Mine never it is gets awesome. put away. Mine is always up. Is it always out? Mm-hmm. Because I use it all the time. Okay. There we go. So I've got Cute. that all traced out, ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to just set this aside for a minute. And Barb, Cut let's... Um, actually, let's... We do need to trace a few th more things. Okay. Okay. But, we, but we're done with this. This piece. Okay, so what we did here is we have on the on the second to the last page. There's, these are right at the very end. You're going to take your piece of yellow fabric, okay, and you're going to trace. I already kind of. So this is this. your applique fabric. These are my applique fabrics. This is for our French fry. Okay, but I'm going to kind of go back and redo it just a little bit because it looks like it's kind of fading. Okay. And this is when you're going to put the detailed work on here, okay? Because you will, and actually where it comes down and it has little slat, little dotted lines, make those dotted lines because you need to extend those down into. In, that makes your fries. That makes your individual that makes your fries. French yes, fries. it does. You bet. So. Okay, and then I'm gonna but you don't have anything on the back of this yet I should have I guess it's just the fabric it's just the fabric but I think it's okay it's not stretching like the other uh, that other the knit did when I was struggling Knit really mm -hmm. stretches it that's does just, it's yep. supposed to that's yeah, why we have a knit to, yep. This is so cute. Okay, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so now I've got I got all my detailed work for done for that one. Okay, so now, and that's the only one that you actually do onto your fabric. The next one we are taking a piece, and I believe it's a four and a four. Uh, let's see, four. Two and a half by three and a half a piece of pill and stick stabilizer. Oh, that great okay. stuff that we had out here a minute ago. Yep, the pill and it's this one right here. This one right here. The pill and Whoa. stick. Okay. So what you're gonna do with the pill and stick, you're going to put this paper side up, okay? Paper side up, and you're gonna trace your French fry box. Okay, and I got my French fry box there. Okay, now I'm gonna take another piece, and this one should be two by three, and then I'm going to do that on here. And then actually, we're also gonna, going to trace this onto our wash away sticky back stabilizer, because we're gonna put it onto the front, and oh, we're yeah. gonna use that as a pattern, then we'll trace that and then we rinse that off and it disappears and goes away. Oh, I like that. Okay. So we're going to trace this one as well. And just the outline is fine. Okay. Outline is fine. And one more, we are gonna do the French fries. Let's see if I can find one more piece. Oh, here. is this for the foam stabilizer? Yes. Okay. Yep. The so flexi foam. The flexi foam. So actually, we need to do one for the flex foam and one for our French fries. Oh, that's right. Well, we did the French fries. Well, we did the French fries, but we also need to have this onto the back of the of just the outline okay. stitch. Okay. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna do the outline stitch. And here in just a minute, you'll see why, Barb.
Okay. And you're doing this on? And I'm doing this back. on this, the fusible pill and stick. Okay. The fusible pill and stick. Okay, I think we are done with the light box now. So if we can, we'll just shut that off and, um, I think there's some in the drawer. Okay, so we're just gonna take this, carefully move that over here, out of our way. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, we are taking our, um, let me think, what is this, our French fries with our fabric, okay? French fries with our fabric. And we are going to I'm going to fuse that to the top of this. So Barb, if I can get you to fuse that for me. Iron that. <clears throat> and then we're also going to So there's a definite reason you're not using a friction pen. Yes, there is definitely a reason why we are not using a friction pen. So now, Barb? Yes. Can I also, and then what we're doing here is we've got our red. Now, there's two different kits here. There's two different kits here. There's a kit with um, a red and teal, and then there's another one with teal and white for the label. So there's two different go with the kits with this one, and they're, the kits are $3.99. Okay. So I want you, Barb, to take this one and iron this onto the back and iron it from the front side. You don't want to iron it from your leather side. And this is going to be okay. It will be just fine. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I know I have. This is scaring me a little bit. No, don't be scared. And then I want you, then we're also taking a piece of peel and stick and we're going to iron that onto the back side of our, back side of our flex okay. foam. Okay. So are we just doing that one little portion? Um, no, you're going to iron this whole thing. Actually, I've made a mistake. So we're not even going to use this for the pattern. Oh, okay. So this is just peel and stick. And actually, let's just go like this, and then we're not confused. I'm confused. Okay. So all you want is just to have that on there. I just want it on there, yeah. Okay. I can do that. I, and just iron it from, again, from the... The paper the side. The paper side. Because we don't want to melt the, um, the flex foam. Oh. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and Barb, I have one more for you too. If you wanna, iron. and now what I've done is I've taken my teal piece and I'm putting my little label for the French fry, okay, on the back of the teal piece, okay? Okay, okay here comes the tricky part here. I mean, it's not been tricky so far. Well, <laughs> okay. I know the sewing version is just a little bit different, but you know what? It is. Kimberbell has made it so easy for us to do. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm taking my French fry piece that I've, and I have not cut any pieces out yet. Okay. They're just still big. And here's the piece and, and I put the sticky back on. Yeah, and you put the sticky back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to, a lot of times I have to bend over a corner here to. That's how I do it. Okay, and now it is sticky. Ta-da, it is sticky. So now what we're going to do is we're sticking this to the, to the top part of the flex foam. There's still paper on the back side. So we're, 
excuse me, adding this to the front. Okay. Wow. It's done. So this is why we really need to have our detailed work because we're going to be stitching right uh -huh. onto the top of that fabric. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just cut that out, just the outside edges. So our flex foam and our and our um, French fry fabric are cut out together, which I thought was very clever. So you don't have to match it together, it's being cut at the same it's time. Cut, it makes yep, it perfect. It's, yep, it's being cut both right at the same time. I like that. Okay. All right, that wasn't there we go. hard. That wasn't hard at all, was it? Nope. Okay, so now we have our French fries. And now let's do our, we're going to cut out before we peel off our paper because we got to have our pattern on here right okay look there look at that if you need to even it up a little bit here there we go so those are there are that's the container for our fries there we go and then we have our label right here. And really, when you get that cut out, you're done. We are, yep, we're pretty well done. Well, as far as getting it cut out and ready yeah, to, get to ready get to get it, ready to go, yep. So just, and it, it's not a lot of prep work, but there's a little prep work beforehand, so. Okay. Now, you've got this little piece right here. What I ended up doing here is I um, got a piece of our sticky back wash away. And I took, let's see where's the sticky, there should be a piece here somewhere. I don't know what it feels like. Okay, well, we'll sticky back wash away. Okay, and we're going to put the uh, the fabric side up this time, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down right on top of our little piece. Okay. Because it's sticky, okay? So we're going to, again, trace that right onto our sticky back stabilizer. And this is where you probably want to do all your detailed work on. Okay, so you got your little dot, dotted slash lines, and then down the sides, and then you've got your heart in here in the middle. Okay, so then what we're going to do is you're going to peel that back, and we're going to place it right on top of our leather piece. Okay, so I... I peeled that back and I placed it right on top of my, the top part of my leather, okay? Top part of my leather. So now when I go to sew, when I sew, I will have, I have the outside edge and then you're going to come in and just do a barely a little bit stitching, kind of a top stitching around the outside edge and then do your little heart, okay? All right. So, how we're gonna prepare this is the very first thing we're gonna do. Now I've changed colors here. I've got my uh, cute little thing all traced off here. I'm gonna peel off, and I've got my French fry fabric to the flex foam. And then to the flex foam, I have the peel and stick. Okay, I'm going to take the peel and stick off. So I have the flex foam fabric and I'm going to lay that down right on to where Perfect. my pattern is. Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to do, you do a little decorative stitch. Now I'm going to try to do this. 
I did one at home and I thought it worked out pretty good. But I ended up doing like um, a ham stitch. Oh, did you? A little star. Uh -huh. But I made it a little bit smaller. What thread? Oh, you're going to put some gonna, thread And on. you know what? I do like to use embroidery thread just because well, shiny. I have a lot of embroidery thread. And so when I do do the decorative stitches, I just tend to go for that. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the second section. Oh, let's see if I can find it now. Okay, where I thought it was in there, but it's... You're not seeing the one that you used? I'm not seeing the one that I used. So let's go to three. There, there it is. Go. Okay. I guess if I... And then what I did... Is this one here set at six point? I went down to four. I went down to four, and then I went down to about. So a your two. width is four, and your length is. And my length, I'm going to do one and a half, just because this is such a small. It is. It is a small it thing. It is tiny. So now I forgot to show you guys this, Nicole. Let's, these onesies or jumpsuits. These jumpsuits are opened on the side, on one side. So. It is I love so this. easy. I know I do too. <laughs> so it's so easy to be able to get inside there and stitch the way you need to. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to just stitch a little bit. I don't know if I'll get it all done, but. Well, you start. just got to show us how to do it and then we can do it on our own. Um, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to, and I take the, my middle mark of my foot and I kind of place it right on the edge of my fabric. So I'm stitching on the both sides of my onto the fabric and onto and my right that gives it a great applique technique yeah it does sure. so this is a hem stitch it stitch. is a little hem stitch yeah it's kind of like candle wicking but we're not using the wing needle so it's not poking holes yep. it's just a hem stitch it's just stitch. the hem stitch yep i just thought that one looked cute it looked a lot like the machine embroidery one okay and also another um let's see the other thing that would be very helpful too is if i had the open toe foot on here so would i would like suggest it? oh i think i'll be okay i'm just going to suggest doing an open toe foot lisa that is really pretty isn't that pretty yeah that is working out great I know why you asked me to help with this because you know I like French fries. <laughs> yeah, maybe and fry sauce. <laughs> but you don't have any fry sauce on there. But good. That is just so cute. That stitching is beautiful. It is really pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So and actually, so you'll go all around the whole thing, and then actually, right here. There's some lines that go down in between the French fry. So I'm just going to do one of those lines and then hopefully we'll be able to. Um, and it just, this stitch does take a little bit longer, but I think it's just, it whips up so cute that. I like how it keeps it poofy, but yet it flattens down but nicely. But it does flatten down too. to do your yep. edges. Oh, see, that is so cute, so Lisa. So see how that. I'm not that sure if you guys so can nice. see how that's working here. But um, here I've gone around yeah. one whole French fry. You here. have. You've you've created a and French then you'll fry. go around and you'll do around the whole thing, and it just kind of makes those puffy. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's kind of move on here. And we are going to, once you get your French fries done, then we're going to take that, we're going to take and do our, going to do the exact same thing, peel off the back of our 
fusible pill and stick. There we go. So far, thanks. And then we're just going to lay that down. Now, if this was all, so it, this will it, all this, be this will down. all be squished down. Yes, that's all sewn before you. So ever this put is the, all, yeah, before you lay. And basically, you're going to lay this kind of right on top of your. Oh, French that fry. makes sense. Makes, that makes sense. sense. You bet. Okay. And Are, I did the exact same stitch. I was going to ask that. you if you're going to do yep, the exact same stitch. Yep, I did the exact stitch. same stitch around there. Yes. It's kind of a candle wicking stitch on the embroidery, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. And then you're going to go all the way around here. Then you're going to take your label piece. Okay. Let's peel that off. Okay. Now we're going to lay that across. That is so cute. And then you're just going to just kind of come in like almost like a, do I want to say an eighth of an inch, Barb? Yeah. Just about an eighth of an inch. And you're going to go around the whole entire thing. You can go around the whole entire circle and then you'll just take your straight stitch and that's what's nice is that you have this sticky back because it's not going to move it's not going to move you're just going to sew right on top of that, that sticky is back great. wash away yep so that is how that is done and then on the let's see on page number page number eight um, Kim shows you, explains how to do your stitch, your hand stitching instructions. Come on, Barb, you want to read this? No, okay. I want to hold it up so they can okay, see it. Okay, yes. Okay, so um, hand stitching instructions to do the small fry. Hmm. So, and I know that there's not any floss in the kits, but most people are going to have some. Are, are well, you're going to want it to match what you're doing and, anyway. Yep, exactly. So you want to, and you can use really whatever color you want. This one here looks like it's almost... A dark kind of a dark pink or something on the pink one so it just kind of depends on um... all right that sounds really great so do you know what Barb how about if I do a little bit of this a little bit more of the stitching okay and then I... and then I think it's gonna be we can see it better so Judy do you need to see where on the machine the stitch is or do you want to see the stitch being stitched because we can help you with either one. I'm gonna go back and just kind of start. Why I'm doing that, do you want to explain to them about um, embroidery? Embroidery lab. lab, oh, that is our coming up. Stabilizer lab. I, yeah, that's stabilizer, stabilizer lab. Stabilizer doesn't have to be just for embroidery. Yes, our stabilizer lab is going to be introduced this Thursday at 11 o'clock. That's our kickoff, it's gonna be great. And you're gonna learn all about all these wonderful stabilizers. I think when I first started embroidery and sewing, stabilizers were so confusing to me. I just could not wrap my head around all the different embroidery or the stabilizers. See, I got saying the wrong thing yet. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out what was for this because there's so many. There's a there's a mesh. There's a sticky back. There's a wash away. There's a a tear away and a cut away. And I thought I don't get it. Well, we're going to explain it to you. Starting Thursday at 11 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, we are going to have a stabilizer lab. And it is going to be so wonderful because when you finish with that lab, you will know everything there is to know about it. But today, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the introductory price. Correct? Yeah, it is. And that's $19.99. $19.99. A month. A month. And it is really going to be fun. For... I think it goes through September. September through mm -hmm. September, yes. And you're going to learn everything you need to know about stabilizers because to me they are so confusing. Not so much anymore because I've been watching you and I've been listening to what needs to be done with our different stabilizers. And, and the more you work with it, the better off it is. And what's nice too is each month we get three designs. exclusive designs. That is right. Yes. Exclusive designs. Who doesn't want that? I know, right? Where on the machine? Okay, okay, Judy, we can help you with that. Give us one second. Uh, Nicole, shall I take that camera? Or should we, how about if we just turn the machine? Let's just turn the okay. machine. Will that work? No. It's not gonna work? You'd have to come over quite a bit <laughs> hey, we're working on it, Judy. Okay. 
So here, and this is the baby, uh, baby oh, that's lock great. altair that we're doing. It is. Okay. Now what I did is I went to our utility stitches and I went down to section number three, section number three, and I went to three dash oh six. Okay. And I changed the length and the width. I went to the width to 4.0 and the length at a 1.5. It just made it small enough so you can really, um, so it's going to fill in a lot better. Okay, Jenna was just asking, is the Stabilizer Lab just for machine embroidery? I don't think it is because with our, all these different uh, fill in the blanks, there's different stabilizers that we use with, machine, with our sewing as well. Okay, so I think that you guys can still learn a lot from, from doing the uh, Stabilizer Lab. And then I think after the second, I think the price goes up to 34, 34.95, I believe. So, so, you know, we're giving you a couple of, um, couple more days to sign up and actually, believe it or not, I signed up too, Barb. <laughs> so, um, you know, people think Lisa knows it all. I don't. I, well, I think what? Lisa does I, know it all. I have to, are you telling me I'm a know-it-all? Yep. You're a know-it-all. Okay. <laughs> That's a fact. But, um, I, I'm learning too. I learn every day. So, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, and now we can just, ooh, let's move this. Kind of noisy, huh? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, and then um, what you're going to do is do your hand stitching. Now, we're going to kind of leave that on hold here. We're going to come back over here. We've got our, our silk and soft fusible. It is so soft. It is I so just love soft. that. And I think I cut a piece of that. Barbara, I think where you did. did. I do with that? Do you know? Let me look. So with the magic of our camera here. Hmm. Okay. Have you already got it on? I don't have it on. But we'll cut another piece. How's okay. that? Okay. Oh. I'm going to cut like about a four and a half by four and a half inch square. Oh, here it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome. Oh, see, it just almost is like silk. Silk, yes. Look it is that. really nice and it silky. It is so soft. Okay. So what we're going to do, is there, can you grab like a piece of fabric that's over there for me? There we go. No, we <laughs> yeah, it could be, yeah. Okay. So we're going to put, we're going to turn our t-shirt to the back side. Okay. We're going to lay this down and there's definitely a bumpy side. I love this. Okay, stuff. We're going to put the bumpy side down and we're going to iron that. But I'm going to say, actually, let's grab this piece of fabric right here. Maybe it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to say, let's do like a um, pressing sheet or a pressing cloth. And we're going to lay that over the top. And let's bring this over back over to our iron here. And again, just kind of um, hold it down. And I do love these wool mats too, because that really helps hold the, um, the heat in. And looky there. It's done. It, it's done. It covers, uh, there's one little corner here I need to. I love that because it makes it so soft it on does. the back. It does. And you know what the thing too is it kind of hides your, kind of hides your um, stitches. It does. Your. Okay. And there we go. So again, we just iron this onto the back side and it covers up our stitches. Some people ask and see oh, how nice and I soft that. that is. You don't even know that's there. You, you don't because you, you can still see the design through that. But it's so soft. But it is nice and soft. And then you'll just take your jumpsuit. Okay. 
You're going to take your jumpsuit, put right sides together here. Okay. Um, I would assume <clears throat> someone was just asking how soon does the order ship? If we, I would assume it should be shipping probably by. I gotta think today's not Monday, is it? No, it's not. No, oh, the weekend threw me. Do you know what? I would assume it should ship as soon. I think pretty soon. Because I think we've got everything in, most everything in stock. So I think everything, I think it should go out as soon as, as soon as we get the order out. So at least by, it really depends on when they made the purchase. It does. And it will. Then that's true. And too. it will, it'll just process through and go right through. Okay. So, okay. So then you're going to just uh, sew up your, or put your right sides together. And then you're just going to sew that up. Oh, it is and done. It's done. Or you can use your serger. It would be just you like could, the other yep, part. You could do the, yep, you could definitely use your serger. And then it is done. That is done. Cute little baby can so, wear that cute little thing. I yes, love it. Yes, and no, it is cute. And you know what, really, I really like that dog one. <laughs> I, I think do. my daughter's dog, I think I, I need to make say, one for my I was going to say, your dog is probably too big my for that. Yes, but my daughter has a smaller dog, and I think she would like that for her dog. So, Or you don't even have to put this on a onesie. You can put it on a bag. You can put it on anything. Oh yeah, you, want. you could really do it oh, because yeah, that anything. design is now yours. You can do what you, you want. You can put with it, it on whatever you want. That's right. Yep, and I like that. A bag for kids and is last month still available? Um, I oh, do you know what, Nicole? Could you check on that for us? Nicole's going to check here for us, I believe. Sometimes there's a limited amount that they can sell. Yeah. So we only have so many that we can sell. So we're going to check on that and find out. It looks like we do have some. Oh, we available. do have some. Some so great ones. So you just go left. right yeah. on the website and you can purchase those. And next month, do we know what next month that was? Yes, we do. Oh, we do. Okay. All right. Oh, Nicole, I love can this you? one. I do too. <laughs> Nicole, could you bring that up for us? Oh, I love this. That is so cute. I have seen this one in person, and it is adorable. Oh my heck! I love this one. Okay, that is. That has got to be. I don't have be. a puppy or a little baby right now, so I'd have to put my small fry on a bag. Oh, I can't put it on my uh, my lunch bag. <laughs> Your lunch bag. There you go. And I'll just there have all go. my fry sauce in there. Yep. There you go. So do we have? Oh, that is so adorable. That is so cute. Thanks, Nicole, cute. for putting that up for us. I oh, I want didn't this one. realize what it was. So, um, any other questions um, that we have? It anybody. is so fun to see everybody here. It is. Well, it is fun. When I've glanced up, I've seen Linda and Judy and Lynn okay, so Linda, far. Okay. I haven't been able to watch the screen very much, but I have seen a few, and I really, I really love it. I love connecting with all you ladies. It's so fun. And actually, th I think this is already pre-quilted. Is that correct? We are going to find out. Let's see. It's going to be good. It's it gonna is going to be. Gonna be really it is going to be good. Okay, I've got to. Yep. All right, can't wait for next month. <laughs> I know. I, I want to get my hands on it for now. For some reason, I think I did hear it was already pre-quilted. I think so. So, because it comes with a pillow blank. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There that's it is. The blank. It is quilt. It is quilted. Oh, this is going to be fun. Better. I yes, love it. I'm so I love excited. It. Okay. So especially for our sewing friends, because that part is already going to be already done. done. Yes. And all you have to do is, oh my heck, all you have to do is, is jump in and put your applique, applique on. on there too. And those are going to be fun. You know what I would do with that? What's that? I would do doodle applique. That would be cute. I know that, you're liking that, that, aren't you, Barb? I love it. That's I really what I would be doing I really on need it. to take that class. That oh, yeah. And, I've got and, some um, new doodle applique coming up too. So, so again, our, um, our jumpsuits and um, our, how much are those, Nicole? 17? I think they're 17. 17 oh, the jumpsuits. The jumpsuits. I think this. Are yeah, seventeen ninety nine, and then your bl the the fill in the blank go with it kits are three ninety nine. There you go. So um, great. Do you know what I also like great about gifts. this? Because if I wanted this red leather mm -hmm. or the teal leather, I would have to buy a whole tube. You have to buy. A what whole if tube? I don't want to have that whole tube? Buy the kit, and you've got exactly, exactly. what you need yep. for it. Or buy the tube, and you can and make, make a whole more. Bunch. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So. Um, go out there 
and um, there's uh, kits out there for you. It is. So ready to go. Okay. All right, friends. Okay, friends. It's go, so good Even to see you guys. Even though I embroider, I love listening to the sewing version. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Linda. You, Linda. That Thank is so you. nice that you've joined us because <laughs> you probably watched the one earlier. She's probably been on here I for know, three that's hours. That's right, probably so. Yep. <laughs> well, welcome because we love having you here. Okay. I am over and out. Okay. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll, we'll catch you next month. Bye-bye. We'll see ya. Mm -hmm.